so I can go invis. And um, he, on the other hand, is not doing that hot. Um, probably a problem of macro because uh, he has uh, 1,000. Well, he had 1,200 gold. Now he got his hero. He has still 900 gold, 400 lumber. I mean, this is something that shouldn't happen in a game. Uh, but my guess is that um, it's because he's not so used to multitasking. I mean, people always say that uh, with higher APM comes better multitasking skills, but uh, in this game I have like, uh, I think 82 or something, or maybe 85 APM or something, which is a bit on my low end, but uh, that's mainly because at the uh, last part of the game I'm not marking anymore, and uh, I mean he isn't either, but uh, he still has like 166 or something, and uh, it's uh, much more than I have, and uh, yeah, I think I'm better at macroing than he are. Uh, he is so, well, and multitasking. Um, yeah, right. Well, when he backed off, uh, I mean, first thing you do is you want to creep your TC, and that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, since my farseer already did some creeps on his side of the map, I mean, like the small one and uh, the green one in the middle. It's not really all his side of the map. I mean, if I wanted to be really aggressive, I would have tried to creep the shop, but that's way too risky in my opinion. So, since my first year was already t level 2, I didn't really have a problem in uh, just uh, creeping my TC alone. Because if the first year is level 1 still, and you creep the, f uh, the TC to level 3, well, that's not really that good, because uh, then uh, your first year... Well, is uh, kind of useless and your wolves stay um, free experience and that's not really what you want. Uh, apart from that my strat is well the very usual strat i.e. Grunt Raider Spirit Walker I kind of like that uh, especially when it's on a bigger map like this and I sort of had a bit of an advantage at uh, tier 1. In my opinion, I had a bit of an advantage at tier 1, although it wasn't really that clear, uh, in the sense that I got a lot more experience than he, he did, because uh, I got to level 2 and then dispelled the water mantle and then still got some peon kills, so I had more experience, and uh, I still have more experience actually, because my TC is level 2, and uh, my well, two and a half, and my Farseer is actually level three, same as an Archmage. And um, if I don't have the experience advantage, I usually try to go for uh, dual uh, dual Beast Theory and uh, pump out a few Wyverns, like the re audio commentary I made like a really long time ago uh, with Fly Against Nilknarf, I think it was. Uh, or was it Fly? I don't know. Yeah, th I think it was Fly, I'm not so sure anymore. Where um, you start off with dual Wyverns, uh, I mean with four Wyverns, and then later you add in uh, uh, Raiders and uh, Spirit Walkers. And uh, the reasoning behind that is that uh, the Wyverns help you a lot in fending off a tower push. Um, if you don't, uh, if you don't make wyverns and you start off with uh, grunt raider uh, shamans, then you have this point in the game where you have four grunts, two heroes, and uh, two tier two buildings that are, well, I mean, that are constructing and uh, don't have a lot of, uh, yeah, you don't have a lot of units, <coughs> which is still the same in the other strat, but. Um, then later you'll have a moment where you have a raider without ensnare, you'll, you'll have a spirit walker without dispel. Whereas, if uh, you go for wyverns, you have two wyverns, which is uh, a lot of focus fire damage, and which can take down towers quite easily. Uh, so, I mean, uh, towers that aren't upgraded yet. Uh, about the fight there, well, um, well, nothing really special, except that uh, I tried to focus the Archmage because uh, I didn't have level 3 on the TC, I didn't have too much mana, I didn't have a, a mana pot, so I didn't really want to get into a long fight, I didn't have the spell, so I just wanted to make him TP instead of me having to TP. Because um, if you want to get out of a fight with human, there's really no other choice than a speed scroll or a TP, and I had already used my speed scroll in order to save a raider. Which later died, but still, I mean, it saved it for a few seconds. So, I finally got level 3 on a TC, and hence I buy the mana potion on my Farseer, 
and I'm gonna go and give it to TC but uh, in the meantime I see him coming in and uh, the arc mage nicely in front and uh, I take a bit of time to realize it and then uh, go for the arc mage. He actually doesn't use his potion, I guess uh, he wasn't expecting me to chain lightning for this fire red. And here the fight looks pretty good for me except that he has a lot of militia and uh, I use my dispel in order to get rid of the summons which uh, I do quite successfully. The thing is now I could really use um, a healing scroll and my scroll of the beast was a bit late. The thing is scroll of the beast is really not that, uh, how should I say, um, it's useful in a sense but it's really not as useful anymore if you have uh, spirit walkers because from time to time you want to dispel the slow on all your units but uh, if you dispel the slow, the, um, the scroll of the beast will also be gone, so yeah, I mean it's really not as uh, as nice. Uh, he does the smart thing by running in a quill beast, I mean you should always do that whenever you have a beast master against orc. Uh, also night elves should do it, and uh, yeah, undeads rarely get a beast master, but um, you should always run in a fast summon. Uh, I mean, orc with a f uh, with a farseer and orc mirror can also do that, and uh, spirit wolves. But uh, you should run in a fast unit, uh, especially. I mean, the quill base works really well because it's quick and uh, it has a range attack, so it can take down a lot of uh, solving units. I mean, just uh, stop the solving. And yeah, I took down his arc mage because he didn't buy TP again. Uh, I guess that he wanted to do an all or nothing push, so that's good for me. I have the advantage, so I'm creeping the expo. I tried to uh, lure the creeps out by um, using the 